Okay, so my name is Fofana Mami Ahmed. I go to Minnesota State University, Mankato. I am Margaret Anderson. I go to school at Minnesota State, Mankato. I'm Harriet Nakai Tete. I I'm a graduate student at New Mexico Tech in Socorro. So I wanted to come to the conference because basically I knew about tunneling, but I just wanted to learn more about it. And then I've always been like a fan of it, but really don't want to get into it. So I wanted to check that out and see if I really want to give it a try for like my master's degree or not. I have had an interest in tunneling, but we don't go over it a lot at our university. And I had mentioned it to one of my professors and he sent and me a link to this scholarship and he said, you should really apply. And I'm really excited to be here and just to learn. I'm originally from geological engineering background. I've always had an interest in geotechnical engineering. I have also had some experience working in underground mines. So tunnel is like the way to go. So I heard about this conference from my friends from the university. It was given to them by a professor. Um, and I said, well, I finally get to get the real stuff. Like presenters are from industry. I'm learning more about the tunnels that I thought I knew about it. So I'm getting, I mean, I'm getting more interest in the field than I thought I will. Hopefully, I can start my master's degree in tunneling. I have definitely been learning that there is more opportunity than what I thought. And it's really interesting that you get to see that the, every site is different and everybody talks on that and how just collaboration is really important and really valued. And it's so nice that you get to hear about the different places and the different projects. Um, now I have a whole bunch of vocab boards to look up, but that means I'm gonna learn more afterwards as well. So that's kind of fun. I have learned a lot from these conferences. I've been able to interact with a lot of people working in industry and on projects all over the world. And it's interesting to know the factors that they consider, especially the geotechnical considerations they have for most of the projects. And I am intrigued to find out that not every project runs smoothly, and I thought that only happened from my side of the world. But every project has its hitches, and I love the fact that they found ways to bridge the gap. Yesterday we had a talk with the president for the women in tunneling. She was she was exceptional. Yeah. Yes. All the mentors are pretty nice. I mean, they're easy talking to, and then I'm I'm liking it. So I don't have that much to say about it. Yeah. yeah, it seems like a really, really friendly environment and everybody is just like excited to talk to you and have you there and they want to learn more about you, but also share anything that they can. And it's really nice. Very nice. The exhibits are really, really great. Yesterday we went around and, and we were able to interact with most of them. They're very open. They discuss so many things, opportunities and trainings available. I think it was, it, it's good. We got, we're heading there right after here. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm on my way to the exhibit too. Yeah, yeah. I haven't been able to go yesterday because I wasn't feeling pretty nice. So, yeah. yeah, that's pretty much it. No, it's been really fun to go to the exhibits and interact. And it's kind of fun because like, anytime you talk to a person at one exhibit, they're usually like, yeah, we work with this company. Yeah. And they're like maybe a couple of rows over. And so then you go over there and it's like, oh, I heard you work with them. And then, it's kind of cool because you see that everybody's connected and they all talk about cool projects. This is an exposure you do not get anywhere else. You could go for as many conferences, but this is dedicated to tunneling. So I think the fact that it's specified to one, specific, it's to one specification is what makes it richer. Like you get more value from it. Yeah. And I feel like this is a unique opportunity. Everybody can apply for it and go into it, learn more about tunneling discover more about it. If you feel like you want to move forward in tunneling, you can study more about tunneling. If not, at least you've learned about it. So <laughs> yeah, you have nothing to lose. So that's pretty much what I think. So I only <laughs> I only knew about tunneling in terms of underground, but coming to this conference, I, I got to know about their perspectives. They're interested in transportation. I didn't know there were so many um, variations to tunneling other than just mining. So it was, it was a nice one for me. I would definitely say I'd recommend it to anybody that wants to apply that might have a remote interest in tunneling and 
It's also really cool to see that like it's a great opportunity and you get to see that tunneling goes into more things than just we want to put a road underground or we want to put a train through a mountain. You get to see it goes into sewers, you have micro tunneling for utilities and it's really cool that you get to see that interaction. Yeah.